So what do you do on a glorious rainy day that you have need desperately for weeks on the coast of South Carolina? You think, oh, maybe I'll go out and drop some crab pots, but alas, you have lightning, thunder, and blessed rain. So what you do is you clean out your chest freezer and you find you get all your vegetables that you've frozen for stock with your cutoffs, your chicken carcasses, um, any of those things. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a pot of stock on. And it's gonna be fabulous chicken stock. It is this easy. It's a dump and go, right? So I'm just gonna open these up, get ready, cause it's gonna be loud. These were just in a freezer Ziploc bag. I've got more. It doesn't matter that you've got a little frost inside these bags. All that moisture is going to cook off more. And Burns' hand, I call the claw, which after he roasts a chicken on the grill or have whatever he does with a whole chicken or chops it up, he can crush those carcasses for me in a way that they can go right in here. And you've seen me keep a stock bag or several of them going. Because remember, before I make my chicken stock, in this case, if I were using beef bones, I'd be making beef stock. I will strain all this through a sieve. And I found several small bags that have snuck down to the bottom. I have got it on my super burner and I'm going to add from my pot filler. And remember, I love the onion skins. They will give it that beautiful flavor in your jar. Flavor, color. So there is only about two inches of water in the bottom of this because remember, you can see the frost crystals on a lot of these and that's going to release that moisture. And I want to have a very intense uh, flavorful uh, chicken stock. So you can do it in quarts, you can do it in pints. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. I just, of course, don't want this to burn <laughs> or run out of uh, water in it. So I'll bring it up to a nice little boil and then I'll put it on simmer. Could not be easier to do. If you don't want to can it, you can always freeze this in ice cube trays. And let me see, I have my legend up here. Standard ice cube trays, nine cubes would equal one cup of stock. So you can always freeze it that way if you don't want to can. But I love to can, and I have empty jars or holy vessels as I call them, and they're screaming to be filled. And today is the day. So here it is after an hour. And remember, we only had about two inches of water in here. All of these are releasing their water or moisture from being frozen. And this, I get a lot of messages, where do I get the scraps to make chicken? And like I said, we save our chicken carcasses. You can save your turkey carcass, scraps of onions, celery. And when I do this, I found a couple uh, stalks of carrots that needed to be used. And it's just this easy to make your own chicken stock. So here is hour four of having this in here. And remember, we only started with about two inches of water. And this is some very beautiful stock already. So again, you do not have to can chicken stock, but many people have asked, where do you get the scraps for your stocks, whether it's beef bones that I save from cooking, or in this case, as I showed you, several chicken carcasses. Uh, towards more in the fall, I get more turkey, and I cook the turkey, and then Vern crushes down the carcass for me to be able to make uh, turkey stock. To me, turkey stock, chicken stock, same thing. So one of the advantages of cooking more from scratch 
not just growing my own vegetables, you could buy them at the farmer's market or at the grocery store, is keep the skins you pull off of onions, some older carrots, those type things that you don't want to lose. And of course, I love the onion skins and the onion celery, the celery ends as I have to cut them off. So many, many advantages to cooking at home and you will never see something come out of a box that is this color and this rich when you buy chicken stock versus making your own. Don't be afraid to try it. It's just been cooking here at low about six hours now. Then I'm just gonna strain it. When I go to strain it, I simply use one of these. Now, because I'm going to can mine, I'm gonna lay some food grade cheesecloth in this, and I'm gonna strain this into, in my case, I use some older pitchers, like you would have made iced tea in. Then I'm able to take all of the discards here. There's some meat left in here, and I dump these off my dock into my marsh. And the little blue crabs go crazy, and the small, small mud mummies, and the pinfish and the bait fish do. I do not have alligators, so I'm not feeling uh, feeding dangerous creatures and tracking them closer to people's docks. Uh, so that's very easy to do. And remember, this is an older ice cube tray. I've had this many, many years. So, and nine of these cubes equal one cup. So if you needed a cup of chicken broth, you could pop out nine of those. But after I strain it, after I put cheesecloth in that, strain it into a pitcher, you could then simply add right into those ice cube trays, pop them out in a freezer bag or a food saver bag, and always have it the ready, even if you do not can, enough chicken stock on hand for any meal you needed. And this flavor and this color is amazing. You will not find this in a can or a box that you purchase at the store. So don't be afraid to try it. It's just fabulous flavor for anything.